Good day, everybody. This is Doug, the Modeling Hermit, coming back at you with a uh, little update on the Space Caddy that I told you that we would be working on. I've uh, made some progress on it. Uh, we're eliminating the original int uh, chassis for it. And we'll be substituting just a basic piece of plastic on the bottom. I will be, I don't know, I'll be doing uh, some interesting things. That I've been thinking these pieces are from the uh, Fruhoff uh, flatbed trailer, AMT. Uh, they're parts for the coils that were to be uh, used on the trailer. I'm doing thing, other things with that. And I thought, you know, I might just put... A couple of three of those on here. They would be bases for the car to sit on, but they'd also be propulsion units to lift the car. And uh, so that's just a thought. There'll be other things I'll do to that just to give some interest to that chassis. Uh, the grill, where it hooks on, it has this uh, bumper that had a little bump on it there. And I've added these little, I don't know, whatever you call them here, just a, um, I really don't know what to call them, just uh, accents. And then I've closed in the wheel well on that. I still have to do the trim work on it yet. I've also closed in this side door. We'll explain that to you when I get to the interior. But this left side door will be closed in on it. The top had places where there were ambulance lights and those things got to be a real pain to fill because I kept having that little edge thing around. So I just put a couple of little strips on there just to accent stripes. Uh, sometimes the best way to take care of something is just to hide it, I guess. Now the interior, I've had to cut out a whole section of this interior uh, that uh, had uh, just... A bunch of um, I don't know the ambulance stuff that whatever ambulance is needed in it so I cut that out I uh, took this uh, piece that I cut from up here dropped it down for a floor down there as you can see that's on the bottom and then I've added a little floor piece that comes up to this level and that will be where some seats will sit on there and then this back is going to be closed off uh, that would just be for the luggage area, and that's going to be closed off. The side windows, I'll probably paint in this, 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 and around here, leaving this one open on this side. But all these others, I think I'll paint those body color just to, uh, feels like the right thing to do, I guess. So that's where my progress is at so far on the, uh, I guess I'm calling this as the Space Caddy. Um, what it is, is a uh, uh, transport vehicle from ship to ship or to uh, uh, ship to ground, but it's for the VIPs, uh, the very important people. Uh, so they get this big stylish thing here. Uh, the name of what these things are. Uh, uh, shuttlecraft, that's what I was trying to think of. Yeah, it's a it's a VIP shuttlecraft is what I'm trying to make out of this. So we will see how that comes out. And that is the update for now. I will be, uh, I should say that I will be leaving this, this seat in up here. I thought about changing that around. Um, I've put a block between the driver and the passenger. And to that, I added some sort of, I don't know, that's like a communication or a keyboard or something like that that I've added onto that, mainly because I had this piece that was sticking up above, and I just decided that instead of cutting that off, I'd put something on there. And since this is fiction anyway, who cares? Um, we'll jump to the back area. I've got the floorboard in it now. And all through there, this space uh, for the seating is in. And I've got two seats. These are actually out of the Dodge L700 uh, tilt cab truck that I've used other 
Actually, I can customize that thing too, I guess. I might as well admit to it. And then this piece is out of the uh, custom 58 Chevy. Uh, 58 Chevy? Yeah, custom 58 Chevy. Uh, it's for a uh, the full-length console or something that they had in that. I cut that down and made a little, uh, little console for these guys. At the front, the... Uh, where the uh, gauges and such were, speedometer and stuff, I put in like a keypad in that area. It just fit perfectly, so I just dropped it in. No particular reason, it just fit in, so I put it there. Uh, this is more of the uh, emergency room stuff for the uh, ambulance. I think that actually came out right about this area. And I cut that out and dropped it in just to make it look, trying to make this thing look kind of official-like. So this would be where the passenger would sit. Uh, probably security, more than likely, would be up next to the uh, driver. You'd have security for the uh, passengers in the back because these are VIP people, very, very important people, let me tell you. Uh, the body. Okay, let me see if I can get this grill to sit on here for just a second. And... Uh, just long enough that I can show you something here. Get a hold of that. Okay, so this grill has an accent line that comes around. And to that, I added another accent line to go clear to the back of the car. Just because I just thought it looked a little bit more interesting that way. So that was added. I got a hair on there. And then I painted the car. I primered it and I got it in silver. It's got to be uh, wet sanded out now on that. And I was after the uh, Star Trek series, which is what this is be, kind of being based on. But as I look at the Destiny game series, with all those cool colors and everything that they have, I've decided that actually I'm going to play around with colors on this. And it just it's going to be kind of almost like a low rider. Space shuttle, I guess you might say. So I'm actually working on uh, some lace work, uh, probably on the top. I'll do some lace work up there, maybe some on the hood. And then some really cool stripes or something on the side there. Just because I can, and why not? We're going to, let's move that so I can slide this in. Okay, now I mentioned earlier... Uh, that I had these reels that came from the uh, uh, Fruha 40-foot uh, trailer, AMT. And I'm using the insert that goes on into the end of those. And those are going to be like liftoff pylons or something like that. Um, and also stabilizers for when the car sits down since it's not going to have any wheels. And then these can be give the thrust to lift the car up before it goes on. So those can be on there. And then I will add, you know, some lines in here to something reasonable looking that uh, uh, fuel lines, uh, air lines, whatever they would be. Just a bunch of lines in there. I won't have any idea what they are. And that's where I am at this particular moment, at this particular moment on the car. And this is uh, shaping up to be kind of a cool little space shuttle. And, yeah, with that Destiny theme type thing, I'm not actually after the movie itself, but I'm kind of using that as a kind of a, a guideline for painting this. And, yeah, if we're going to do it, let's have some fun with it, you know. Let's not just paint it basically silver and throw some decals on it. We're going to do some really strange and exotic things to it. So the next time you hear from me, I will have some strange things going on with this. And this is The Modeling Hermit, and I am off the air, and I am gone. <laughs>